Galatians chapter 5, mm. verse 1. Mm -hmm. It was for freedom mm. that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Wow. My goodness. That's strong. My goodness. Freedom. And he's talking about that that came off of Mount Sinai. Yes. Yeah, that's the context. Yes. That's what he just said in, in uh, chapter 4. Very threatening. Wow. Wow. There's no, no uh, confusion there. Yeah. Behold, I, Paul, say to you, that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be troubling to someone today who's saying, well, I think that circumcision's a really good idea. I, I would think, I would have to rethink that it being a good idea. I don't, I don't from a, a, a course of religious. They will justify it by saying, ah, but I'm not doing this to be justified. Yes. I'm doing it to be obedient. That's hair splitting yeah. and creating a false dichotomy to avoid the plain truth of this text here. And, and something that clearly you would have to read into Paul because from the beginning, chapter 1, verse 1, Paul has never said a word about do these things just to be obedient. That's right. He doesn't ever say Never. That. Never. That's never, not never. Paul's point. But we're going to see that circumcision means more than just the cutting of the foreskin. Yeah. It includes more, a whole style of life. More goes along with it, doesn't it? Ah, it's, yes. It's part of a package. So we have to be very careful here. Yeah. Uh, verse 3, and I testify again to every man who yes. receives circumcision that he is under obligation to keep the whole law. Oh. Yeah. Well, now what is that whole law yeah. which you should not keep on pain of being separated from Christ? Wow. Is it clear? Wow. Isn't that Don't go there. Don't, Don't go there, go there at all. Yeah. Not just circumcision, right. but whatever is attached to circumcision by way of Jewish lifestyle under Moses don't go there because you are cutting wow. yourself off from Jesus. Amazing. My goodness. Absolutely amazing. Well, that, uh, you know, that gives us pause. And again, what law was it yeah. that's associated with circumcision? Not the traditions of the fathers. Some people not say Paul was just talking about all the traditions no, no, no. of the fathers not and all that. He was not. Mo uh, right. Paul is talking about the law as given by Moses, the law that came off of Mount Sinai, the law that it has as its seal circumcision. Yeah. yeah. That's the law. Yes. Paul is saying, don't go there. That's right. Don't do that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And of course, that was an Abrahamic thing too. Yes. It actually antedates right. Moses. Circumcision does, isn't sure. it? Yes. But it's still false to the new covenant, the Absolutely. physical circumcision. Right. Don't go there because then you are under obligation to keep all these other right. laws. Right. Don't do it. Paul doesn't say here, uh, do it because Abraham did or something like that. No. He just says, no, don't go there. Don't when you go this direction, you're under obligation to keep the entire law. Amazing. Not parts of it, not some of it, not parts you That's like right. of it, or That's you think right. you can do, no, no, no. but all of it. Puts you under right. a curse then, you yeah. said that earlier. That puts yeah. you under a curse. Jesus yeah. died as an exchange curse to remove that curse right. from it. Don't go back under that thing, because right. you're denying the crucifixion now. Yeah. I, you know, I think that's an interesting thing. For people uh, who uh, want to uh, uh, get involved in keeping law, they often don't realize that the law is a package in toto. You oh, yeah. can't divide it up. You can't yeah. take parts of it. You can't say, well, this is some of it. The, this is the moral part. This is the, I guess, the immoral part then. What are you talking about? It, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. This is not the way Moses gave the law, and it's not the not way, way Paul gave the law. Yeah. Yes. So when you uh, yes. begin to embrace the law, you take it up. You are obligated to keep the entire package. Exactly. You can't pick and choose. And, uh, and so I've never found a community of believers who wanted to keep the law, and they say, oh, yes, we must do that. Yes. Well, we come to say, okay, well, then do you take uh, the, uh, the person who's guilty of an yeah. uh, and and stone them there? Exactly. Because that's the law. That's right. I'll say, well, we, we're not allowed to do that. What do you mean you're not allowed to do that? <laughs> uh, Peter said yes. we should uh, obey God rather than men. Yes. So what do you mean you're not going to do that? When's the last time in your community you stoned someone for yes. breaking the Sabbath? Exactly. I said, well, we don't do that. What do you mean? That's part of the law. That's right. There's, there's not a matter of saying, well, we'll keep the parts we can keep or the, the legal authorities allow us to keep them. Right. It doesn't so. The law right. is the law is the law. It comes as a total package. Yeah. And thanks be to God, yeah. we have found that, that you can't say even superseded, it preceded the law yeah. in the mind of God. Yes. That's what people don't understand. That's right. The law came as a, uh, uh, a foreshadowing, God's kind of pointing the way to the real uh, mm -hmm. 
the real goal, which until, is Jesus Christ. Until only. There's until a time he, limit. That's right. What is it when something expires in a shop? You know, there's a date by which you should eat it, right? There's a time <laughs> limit yes. on that legal system. That's that right. People have not understood that fully. What about verse 4? How tough is that one? Verse 4, you have been severed mm. from Christ. Mm. You who are seeking to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. Wow. That's very powerful. Very powerful. And remember, yeah. seeking to be justified yeah. means seeking to be obedient to God in the right sense. Being right with God, yeah. not wrong with God. You're trying to do it by the wrong set of rules. You're playing golf with the golf club yeah. upside down. The, th the structure of your theology is systematically flawed now. Yes. Absolutely. That's what he's saying. Wow. And, and you know, it's interesting that I have found uh, uh, that we people tend to want to play two sides of this thing. Say, oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're going to keep the law. We're going to keep the law. And then we say, oh, yes, but but then it doesn't justify. You're not, oh, well, we don't do it for justification. Well, wait ah. a minute. What are you talking about here? You're just, you, you know, you're working. You're finding ways to justify doing That's something right. that actually God doesn't that want doesn't you doing. Want you to. And yeah. Paul is going to great pains yeah. to help you to understand, yes. don't get into that. I, I love right. this. What he said in the beginning of this chapter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Paul is saying, uh, for the freedom, freedom there, that Christ has set us free, therefore keep standing firm. And don't be subject again to a yoke of bondage. Okay. Uh, uh, that's the words I think that Peter used in Acts 15 then. Mm -hmm. A yoke which mm -hmm. neither we nor our fathers were able, were able to, bear. to bear. Wow. So yeah. the law, not the law in a package, yes. it's, it's, it's a heavy burden. Yeah. We have men of the law and understanding who are saying, yeah, that's, oh, it's wonderful, it's a good thing, it's certainly better off uh, than those who did not mm -hmm. have it. But at the same time, it was a burden to bear. There was, it was only for a time, and the time was going to come when you can't say that Jesus was going to come along and perfect it or fix it, mm. Jesus was going to come along. What he's really going to do is set in place what God had in mind all along, mm. from the beginning. Before Moses uh, is even uh, on the scene or thought of, mm. Jesus and the plans God had for him for this new covenant is what God was really getting us to. And the other came in in the interim. It came in for a, a good one. Temporary. Yeah, surely. Absolutely. And it bears some uh, resemblance to the things right. that were to come. Yeah. But the real thing is now before right. us. And I so that fine. difference that you described there between I'm not doing it to be justified, I'm doing it to be obedient, is a distinction without a difference. <laughs> yes. It's a desperate <laughs> clutching at it a is, straw. It, it just doesn't work. It doesn't it. work. It doesn't and work. every commentary knows it doesn't work. Yeah. It's this sort of innovation idea. Some people think they, are, they become the masters of all theology, you know, without much training. And they'll come up with something that nobody yeah. ever imagined yeah. to be true. Yeah. And, and proclaim it as a new apostolic dictum, yeah. and a new denomination is then born. Yeah, no, oh my goodness. It's tragic, isn't it? It's and tragic. It's especially tragic for those who would come to this understanding that of the one true God oh, yes. and his yes. Messiah yes. Jesus. Yes. Why isn't that good enough? Absolutely. I think Messiah Jesus is plenty good enough. That's right. And, uh, yeah. and the uh, right lifestyle, which we're going to get to. Certainly. He's going to finish the book and by saying, now there is a way to live properly. That's right. He's not lawless. And it's not, it's not by the law of Moses, okay. but it's by the law of That's Jesus Christ. Law. Yeah, That's right. wonderful. Thing. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, this is very serious mm -hmm. to Paul, verse 4 then. He's mm -hmm. saying, you, you become severed from Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, well, no, we're hanging on to Christ. <laughs> but Paul is saying, no, no, you're putting your whole relationship with Christ in jeopardy, in jeopardy yes. when you begin to say he's not sufficient. He alone is not sufficient. But instead, we also have to have the law and the keeping of the law of Moses. That's right. It, but isn't that what Paul is saying to the Colossians uh, in another, uh, oh, yes. right, where he's saying, you know, and you are complete in I like him. I think that with the uh, circumcision uh, not made yeah. with hands. Right. In that sense, it's the same yes. topic. Yes. Also, Second Corinthians three. Paul, this is his main theme, yes. really. Yeah. How to get people to understand the freedom yeah. that comes in Christ, yeah. and and to try to hang on to Christ and embrace Moses, embrace the law. Stop is a total misunderstanding, and, you, and in order to try to do it in the scriptures, you have to turn Paul on his head, yes. and you have to turn the things uh, that he's saying on, on his head. People can test the same, all you've got to do is read this, this book right here. It's a beautiful yeah. exposition on this, and just look at it. Every time Paul talks about law, right. take a look at it. What law is he talking about? Yeah. He's talking about not the traditions of the fathers. He's talking about the law that was given at Mount Sinai, 
He's talking about the law that included the Ten Commandments. He's talking about the law that was indeed uh, 430 years yes. after right. Abraham. Right. And, and okay. Paul is going to point us and say, the law made no difference about this matter of life and the, the kingdom. Promise. The, 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 the promise to Abraham as now mm-hmm. made known to us in the Messiah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what that's all the key. That's, that's the key, the whole thing. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to fight for this liberty, I think. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I do. No, I think yeah, this I is important. It. People don't know why they may not be doing as well spiritually as sure. they think they should. Try reevaluating their system. Yes. What yes. is it you may have learned from some respected guru that's simply wrong? Yeah. And everybody else knows it's wrong. Terribly unfortunate. Except yourself. Yeah. Uh, this is difficult for yeah. people. Terribly unfortunate. It's difficult for all of us. Okay. Verse 5. Mm. For we, through the ah. Spirit, mm. by faith, ah. are waiting for the hope mm. of righteousness. Mm. Still waiting for the ultimate righteousness. We haven't got yet. Yeah. We haven't got immortality yet. We've got a down payment of it. Yeah. We're still waiting for a hope of righteousness in that coming kingdom of God on the earth when Jesus rules with the saints on a renewed earth. Yes. Then all of this comes to fruition. It all comes yes. to it's wonderful. Verse yes. 6. Yes. For in Christ Jesus, mm. neither circumcision nor uncircumcision <laughs> means anything. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, and one must say that in Genesis 17 it means everything. Yes. So you can you can play the trick. Well, the Bible says it does, yeah, but right. it isn't for you. That that's right. Thing. I mean, look at look at the the fact that Moses, I think, failed to circumcise his children. You remember? Ah, yes. God was going to kill Moses for that. Yeah. And here's Paul saying, circumcision is nothing. <laughs> that's right. So some people then give up on Paul. You see, we meet those too. They that's find right. Jesus acceptable, but Paul is a blatant false prophet. That's right. He's just contradicted <laughs> Moses. He has. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. But he has a right to, as the Absolutely. one in whom Jesus yes. is now speaking, right. namely Paul. And, uh, and again, what Paul is fighting for is this, the, not only the supremacy, but the all-sufficiency yes. of Jesus Christ. And I love that again in Colossians 2.10. Yes. You are complete, complete. in right. him. And, and the context, again, is about these same kinds of issues. Same passage yeah. where we have these calendar things as a single shadow. Yeah. New moon, same status exactly as weekly Sabbath, same status exactly as the annual Sabbath. Mm. It's all a shadow mm. contrasted there negatively yes. with the Christ who is all-sufficient. Wow. Yes. Very clear. I didn't Absolutely. understand that for a very long time. Wonderful. To my own grief, actually. Yeah, now yes. I see it. Yes. I didn't see it then. Yeah. Verse 6. Mm. So, neither circumcision means anything nor uncircumcision means anything. Obviously, it uh, is critical to Paul that we not embrace circumcision because then it means something to us and we have to keep the whole law. Oh. That's what he just said. But in the eyes of God, those who are circumcised have no advantage over those who are not. None whatsoever. Okay. So, where is then the true motivation for keeping those things unless we're just being blinded and drawn into something? that, that uh, is inappropriate, not what God wants us to do. Unfortunately, we have, though, by our millions. I mean, yeah. we talk denominations here and look at millions of very sincere, sure. genuine people yeah. who have not understood right. that these are not issues ever to divide people. Uh-huh. I think it would be good for all of us, uh, anyone who is tempted to be drawn into that, take that, that verse in Colossians 2.10 and, and like put it up on your wall. Yeah, yeah. You are complete in, in Him. And that's what I think we're fighting for. We're the completeness, the yeah. sufficiency yeah. of Jesus Christ. Right. If, if I'm not here to be Moses' disciple. Much too late for that. I'm the disciple of Jesus Christ. Yes. When Jesus came, they, the people said, no one, no man has ever spoken like this. Well, that would include Moses, I think. No one had that's spoken right. the things Jesus spoke. Right. No we, one. We have always the, to stress the verse in Matthew 5, where don't think that I came to destroy the law. Right. I came to fulfill it. That's yes. the key. Yes. If he's simply saying, I came to copy the law of Moses, mm-hmm. jot and tittle, yes. then Paul is a flagrant false prophet. Yeah. It's clear. We do need to tear him out of the Bible. Oh, absolutely. Okay. But what does Jesus really mean here when he says, I didn't come to destroy it, I came to give it its full meaning, which yes. is exactly what Paul is doing here. Absolutely. absolutely. And, he, and, and Paul is showing us how yeah. that that has happened. That's, That's right. done. Yeah, wonderful stuff. But what I'm trying to do here is to allow, to concede the point to the, the, the law-keeping party. Yes. They've got a point. Jesus said, do not imagine I came to destroy the law. Yes. No, the key there is I came to do something with it, yes. to fulfill it. 
to give it the meaning that really it had intentionally from the beginning that will harmonize Jesus and Paul very nicely. And, and both Jesus and Paul did not come for the purpose of destruction of the law yeah. or opposing or coming against it in that right. sense. But Jesus did say that he came to fulfill That's That's that key. law. And I think Paul right. recognizes that. That has been now accomplished. Yes. It's done. Yes. And it pointed the way to Christ. Now Christ is here. We're no longer under it. you know. And there were some problems with it. But Paul didn't come to destroy it. Yeah. Actually, it, a new covenant has now come. Uh, the one God had in mind from the beginning. And now yes. that new covenant is, is where well, we're We mustn't at. forget that Paul said, do we destroy the law? No, we're confirming the law. Of course. He, by saying circumcision in the flesh is nothing, he's confirming Absol the law. Absolutely. Can you imagine right. that? It's, it's That's wonderful. a little tricky. That's but right. We are asked to be intelligent students of the Bible. That's right. So verse 6, For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. But, and, and I think we have a disjunction there, this is what means something. Of course. Uh, faith working through love, that's what means yeah. something. I like that. Yeah. Exactly. Now we're getting to the love. point. The central point is love based on belief in the kingdom of God, gospel, mm -hmm. and in Jesus as mm -hmm. the Son of God. Wow. And God is one. Yes. That one he'll stand with. I love it. That's it. Yeah. Verse 7, you were running well. Who hindered you mm -hmm. from obeying the truth? Obey. Wow. It's disobedient. So we're talking about your life activities, yes. aren't, isn't it? Yeah. He's actually saying it's totally disobedient wow. to be obeying Moses. Don't do it. Yeah. You're disobeying Jesus. Wow. Verse 8, this persuasion did not come from him who called you. Yeah. So you can say, well, this is what God wants me to do. This is what Jesus wants me to do. Yeah. Paul is saying, oh no, this, this sort of thing doesn't come yeah. that way. Yeah. From the dark side, in fact, yeah. not from Jesus. Yes. Verse 9, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, now that impresses me. I think I can only conclude that Paul is saying to us there, don't meddle with this. Yeah. Even meddling with the law, getting into that even a little bit, yeah. it's going to wind up affecting the entire yes. lump of dough. Yes. If you, the, whole the, body. People, the whole body. It spoils the whole body, right. of course. That's why, again, I think uh, sometimes I have people saying, yeah, but it's nice to do mm. the things of the Lord, it's, or it's a good mm. idea, or whatever. I don't think it is. Yes. I haven't found Paul saying that no. here. No. Where did Paul say, oh, well, it is nice to do the law, I know that, or it's a good <laughs> idea. Paul is not saying that. He's, he's warning, don't get into that. Don't meddle with it. You may, uh, by doing some of the things of the law, and uh, you may say, well, I have the faith to believe it doesn't mean anything and all that. But what about how many others you may affect of course. who then are going to be That's moved to think, well, I'm supposed to be keeping the law, or they'll think they have to keep it, or uh, they'll be drawn into it and it affects their entire lives, right. the lives of their children, and it's just not good. It's not the right way to go. Wow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. I have confidence in you and the Lord mm -hmm. that you will adopt no other view mm -hmm. No other view. Wow. Mm -hmm. But the one who is disturbing you mm. shall bear his judgment, whoever he is. Oh my goodness. Very dangerous to disturb the people of God, isn't it? Wow. I'm thinking of these recent attempts to set the date for the second coming. Oh my goodness. People who gave up their savings, their jobs, at great cost to themselves, and were terribly disturbed by a completely false idea that Christ was coming back on May the 21st. Wow. Very dangerous Terrible. to disturb the peace yeah. of the people of God. Yeah. Uh, well, and then uh, is it not the case that people like that, situations like that, actually uh, are injurious mm. to the cause of Christ in the eyes of the unbelievers out there that we would like to win? Oh, absolutely. You know, they're going to look at the, uh, oh, these, okay. these sorts of false prophecies. Bad advertising for the yeah, church. Terrible. Of course it is. And, and for Paul, I think it's just a grievous matter mm. that we would cast before those people that we would like to win, the unbelievers, the, the issues question. of the law. You know, and say, oh yeah, well come our way, and by the way, then uh, you'll be circumcised and keep the law, or you won't be circumcised and keep the law, whatever these confusing ideas are. Mm. But in any event, you've cast now a great uh, stumbling block in front of the unbelievers and, uh, Very and hindered our own message. Absolutely. We're our own worst enemies at that point. Indeed, yeah. self-inflicted wound. Yeah, it is indeed. Okay. Self That's right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Verse 10. Yes. Yeah. I have confidence in you, in the Lord, mm -hmm. that you will adopt no other view, mm -hmm. but the one who is disturbing you shall bear his judgment, whoever he is. Yes. Verse, 
verse 11. 11. Mm -hmm. But I, brethren, if I still preach circumcision, why am I still persecuted? Then the stumbling block of the cross has been abolished. Yes, that's a very significant statement. If I'm still preaching circumcision, why am I getting persecuted? That shows he's not preaching circumcision, wow. isn't it? Those who, who are preaching circumcision are persecuting him. Yes. Even as he was bringing out about the two, uh, the two women, mm -hmm. you think, in the fourth mm -hmm. chapter. Oh, yes. You know, the bond servant and then the right. free woman. And the yeah. one who is the children of the bond servant persecuted mm -hmm. the, uh, the children mm -hmm. of the free woman. Wow. Yeah, I think it's an important point there. If I still preach circumcision, which I'm not, mm -hmm. and we should add circumcision and the whole law. If yes. I am, in fact, preaching circumcision and the whole law, why am I being persecuted? I wouldn't be being persecuted. <laughs> That's right. So I'm not preaching it. You see, there is the text in Acts to, to suggest that Paul does everything by way of concession. Mm -hmm. He's willing to go in the temple and offer sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But he's not making that the standard for the church. He'll do that as a one-off thing. Yes. He'll circumcise Timothy for the sake of the Jews. He might regret that later, possibly. I don't know. Yes. But here, it's quite a different situation. He's advertising against circumcision and the whole law. And, and then back to his point about Titus that he made earlier in this same writing, yeah. that Titus was not required to be served. Yeah. This is Paul's right, was not wonderful moment, I think. He, he was very happy that uh, all the church yes. recognized. And, and then, isn't it rather silly to say, oh yeah, but we don't have to circumcise, but you're still going to keep the law. <laughs> Paul is not teaching that. He's not saying yes. that. If you're going to be circumcised, actually you are going to keep yes. the law. That's right. the point. And to say we're going to keep the law without circumcision makes absolutely no sense. Makes a sense. No sense whatsoever. Even worse is to say, well, we're not going to get circumcised, but we will, of course, but not for justification. <laughs> yes. See, that's just sheer confusion. Yeah. And every one of those tacks, every one of those things, are things that Paul never said in any of this. They're much it's too confusion. complicated. Yeah, they're very Terribly complicated. complicated. That's right. Clutching at straws. Verse 12, would that those who are troubling you would even mutilate themselves. It's the most vivid of all Paul's expressions in all of his letters. Let well, them yeah. chop it off, yeah. you know, in yes. plain English. Yes. He's very, very angry here. He's very, he, he sees this yeah. as a major problem. Right? Yes. Absolutely, right. yes. He gets rude, if you like. He gets rather basic yeah. and stark wow. with his language yeah. here. But he's doing that to drive home a point of course. starkly. Right. Yeah, if, uh, if that's he's what it terribly means. upset by the Judaizers in this letter. Wow. Verse 13, for you were called to, mm. and here's this word, mm. freedom. Yeah, Back again. to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the way that uh, mm -hmm. this word freedom figures in. And, and the mm -hmm. King James, I like the wording there in the fifth chapter and first verse. It says, liberty. stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ is Great word. free. And don't be entangled again yeah. in the yoke of bondage. Wow, well, like very strong, very strong, very strong. So here are, we've been called not to the law, mm -hmm. not to these issues, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly not to the traditions of men, but not to the law. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's saying we've been called instead to freedom. Uh, for you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. through love serve one another. Mm -hmm. Now we come to the key. Wow. He's turning a corner and explaining this new and better way, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. It's very here's, subtle. Here's our understanding yeah. of the whole thing. The correct it? understanding it's of the whole law. It's from Jesus. To to from Jesus Messiah. Yes. Wow. And it's to do with love, which is part of the law of the Old Testament too. It, it's clever. You can see how people can get confused. Yes. Yeah. Verse 14 yeah. for the whole law. Verse 14 for the whole law is fulfilled mm -hmm. in one word. Mm -hmm. In the statement, you shall love your neighbor mm -hmm. as yourself. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. I, I suppose, I, I tend to think of it this way. We think about the, uh, the Ten Commandments with him. Jesus came and brought us something uh, that uh, is far superior to the Ten Commandments. Absolutely. It's amazing to me that people still want to hold to the Ten Commandments and say, well, I have to have that. No, actually, you need what Jesus is bringing us. He's teaching us uh, an understanding that says this, I think. If I love my neighbor, then I will not steal his ox. Mm -hmm. If I love my neighbor, I will not steal his wife. Mm -hmm. If I love my neighbor, I will not bear witness falsely oh, against right. him. On and on. Right. And uh, if, uh, so if I have love toward uh, my fellow man, 
I have no need of a law then saying, oh, don't kill your neighbor. If I love you, you don't need no. to make a law for no. me saying, oh, by the no. way, don't kill anything. No, it's, it's perfect government. It's, it's, it's right. perfect government. And uh, so Paul is telling us the whole law right. is fulfilled. There's that word fulfilled, mm-hmm. but accomplished mm-hmm. yes. in, 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 this. in this one summary, right. That's right. which is loving your neighbor. Everything the law was trying to tell us, everything that it was trying to teach us, yes. we now find fulfilled and accomplished. Yes. But in a different thought, in this thought. It's interesting love your that, uh, that Jesus can talk to a young man and confirm the Ten Commandments, yeah. only to bring him forward. Right. I've done all that. Right. But now let's, let's suggest something else. Go and sell everything you've got. That's going beyond the Ten yes. Commandments. Yes, indeed. That's but he starts with the bridge. Right. We do that. Let's meet person a person where he is. Right. And then move on to the new thing, which is that the whole law and circumcision is not what you do. Right. The whole law, as summed up in love, is what you do. Isn't That's right. that? That's right. This Sabbath. is the law of Christ. It's the law of Messiah. And, and, and Jesus is saying, you remember, uh, of course, he says to his disciples, uh, a new law I'm bringing. Yes. A new yes, command. Exactly a new right. commandment. Not the one you had before, no, no, but right. a new one. Right. The new commandment is that you love one yeah. another. Yeah. Love one another. So he's bringing us something he says is new. Mm-hmm. It's not what Moses said. No. It's not what, it's not, he's bringing it to us in a whole different yeah. sense. This is the law of Messiah, yeah. that you love one another. Even as I've loved you. Very, wow. very profound. Yeah. It is. So, verse 15. Yes. But, so here we have the other side of that picture. But if you bite and mm. devour one another, mm. take care lest you be consumed <laughs> by one another. It's terrible. Wow. That's what that system will lead to, right? Yeah. And isn't, isn't really the keeping of the law in itself, the efforts to do that, Yes. doesn't that actually present new opportunities over and over again to bite oh, and devour absolutely. one another because oh, you're not keeping this right, you're doing that right, you're not doing this right, I do this right, you're not doing it. And you've got this this constant struggle, battle, infighting over who's keeping yeah. And the whole thing is misguided. It is. Because you're obstructing the spirit. Sure. You're obstructing the very thing that will prevent yeah. that biting and devouring. Is it not time to grow up of as Christians? It must be. Isn't that what Paul was saying? While we were children, we were under these things. But now we're no longer children. It's time to grow up. Let's get up to where Christ is at. And uh, and, uh, in doing so, we're going to come to where God really wanted people to come to all along. The law was only helping us to point the way. But Jesus is that relevant message. I am the way, he says in John 14. Mm -hmm. I am the way. Mm -hmm. I am the Mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. I am the life. Moses could never say anything like that. That's right. Nothing like it. Not, nothing remotely like it. Yes. Powerful. Uh, yes. Verse 16. Mm-hmm. But I say, mm-hmm. walk by the Spirit, mm-hmm. and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. The only solution to the flesh, then, is that Spirit. Wow. Back to your thought earlier, where you were talking about the importance, the significance of Spirit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that takes us to the Gospel. Yes. See, people tend to think spirit is rather ethereally, and it is, it is an invisible power, yeah. but it's connected with the gospel. How do you get the spirit? You got it by obeying the gospel of the kingdom. Ah, yes. Ah. If you were the devil, what would you do? You'd want to get rid of that gospel of the kingdom, right. wouldn't you? Because that's the avenue to spirit, which is the key to this whole thing. And I suppose uh, that uh, the devil wouldn't mind how you get misdirected as long as you're misdirected. No. Ah, that's so correct. if we can misdirect you in that's this right. direction, or if we can misdirect that's you right. and get you focused on yes. trying to keep Moses' law for goodness' sakes, then he's pleased. Very as long good. as you're not thinking about the kingdom, that's right, and the promise given that's to Abraham, right. ah. and that message that we we hope in and Paul. Was Those are the the devil's no go areas. Yes. You know? well, yes. He doesn't want you looking there. That's right. He'll quickly misdirect you Any, to uh, anywhere anything, else. Anywhere else. Anything that's else right. in the Bible that's that's right. will do well. That's right. That's right. The Bible right. says yes, but that wasn't actually for you. That's that right. part of it. Yeah. All, we have to understand Good our point. covenant, our obedience mm-hmm. is all related to Messiah mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, the one and only one yes. who is our that's mediator. Right. Our mediator is not, we don't have two mediators, we don't have Moses and Christ. No, no. Our Thanks mediator is Jesus Christ and him alone. And yeah, the point is very clear. And, and he, de- he develops that in these next verses in a very clear way. So, yeah. in verse 17, mm-hmm. for the flesh sets its desire against the spirit, mm-hmm. wow. and the spirit against the flesh. For these are in opposition to one another, so that you may not do the things that you please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you're led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Oh, isn't that wonderful? What a, con- what a contrast. 
Well, once again, it, it isn't that back of thought. If I love you, yeah, I don't yeah. need for someone to come in and say, hey, we have a law for you here. No. Your law is don't kill Anthony. <laughs> There's no danger <laughs> that I'm going to kill right. Anthony if That's I love right. Anthony. That's right. That's right. So we, we have no need of this. Well, if, you, if I love you, I'm not going to steal your goods. No. I'm not going to take not. the things that are your property. I love you. It's summed up. In That's the right. Blood, yeah. So Paul, is, I think, isn't that what he's saying oh, to yes. us here? No question. He's telling us, yeah. uh, if you are led of the Spirit, you're not under mm. the law. Mm. Forget all that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Then look at the list of the opposite things. If you, if you quell the Spirit, if you quench the Spirit, right. then the result is the faction and the division of denominationalism, isn't it? Oh We've got land. it all yes. over the place. Oh my land, yes. Disagreement. We're all fighting yeah. each other, isolating each other and ourselves in various boxes, right. as we might see what the yes. other people are doing. Yeah. It gives us a sense of, well, we've got something going here. But wait a minute, you've got 25,000 yes. other groups right. doing something different in the name of Jesus. That doesn't make a lot of sense. No. And, uh, and one at the same time while we're engaging in all those sorts of things, we are, to the extent we negate, we are involved in those things. We're neglecting the real the message main of of the one God, yes. His Messiah, and the kingdom, the kingdom of God, gospel. which is what we're supposed to be wholly, yeah. thoroughly involved that's right. in. Wow. Yeah. Yes, I think that's clear. Yes, a list of things here. Right? We don't want any of these in twenty and twenty one. <laughs> and look at the warning. I, I I forewarned you, and I'll warn you again. He says somewhere else. If you practice these things, you oh, will yes. not go to heaven. No, you will not enter the, king. the kingdom. Yes. We have unfortunately replaced that kingdom of God yeah. language. It doesn't sound like Jesus yeah. at all. Right. To sound like Paul and Jesus, you always talk about inheriting right. the kingdom right. of God when right. it comes with Jesus on the renewed earth mm. in the millennium as being the first stage Beautiful of stuff, that kingdom. Absolutely Easy wonderful. Yes. And uh, so all these matters, now think about this too. Mm. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, they're, they're quite clear. There are immorality and impurity and sensuality yes. and idolatry Christ and sorcery and enmity, oh, goodness. strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, yes. dissensions, factions, yes. envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. Terrible. Uh, there are more stuff, but there's just more. But isn't Terrible. that getting back to, Paul said, the law entered because of transgressions. Yes. If it yeah. wasn't for the problem of people doing these kinds of things, there would have needed to have been no law. Sure. But now we're coming to the place where that uh, we're finding that we don't need a law mm -hmm. that by way of law telling us don't uh, uh, commit adultery mm -hmm. if we love our neighbor. Mm -hmm. We don't need a law saying don't be involved in idolatry mm -hmm. if we love the one true God. That's right. You know. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And yet, we are, uh, as Paul says in another place, uh, we are not without law to Christ. Right. Not to Moses, exactly. but to Christ. Not lawless. And he has taught us amply, hasn't he? Absolutely. He's taught us everything we need to know about the way yes. of the Spirit. Yes. He's taught us the ways of the Spirit. Yes. And, uh, well, back to that, how do you get the Spirit? Ah, the key, yes. it? That's so important. That Galatians 3, 2, we did it earlier. I like that. You get the Spirit by intelligent reception of the Gospel of the Kingdom. That's missing from many systems. Yes. Okay. So he goes on in verse 21, he's saying, uh, yes. uh, things like these, of which I forewarn you, oh. just as I have forewarned you, oh, yes. that those who practice such things shall not inherit the kingdom wow. of God. Wow. That's not once saved, yeah. always saved, is it? Uh, no, it is. He's talking to people who've begun the journey, they've right. been baptized. Right. But you're not going to make it. You yes. will not be in the kingdom. Yeah. Unless you turn away from this Moses mixture right. sure. that you've embraced, Absolutely. you've to embrace. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and yet we have Jesus who's taught us all these things mm -hmm. and is well preparing his people for the kingdom. Yes. And he's taught us that these are the ways of the Spirit and yes. love, That's right. not the ways of Moses and law. That's right. Isn't that interesting? The whole book I don't right. think it's that hard, is it? Uh, when you see it, it's not so yeah, hard. Yeah. That's right. Verse 22, and then yeah. he's going to give us the other side of the story. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Mm -hmm. No, Don't need a law against those no. things. No, <laughs> no. These things, however, are the fruits of 
the Spirit working in That's the right. people of God. And again, it's back to the preaching of the gospel because yes. the fruits of the Spirit are in the parable of the sower. Yes. You bear fruit. Yes. Here's the fruit. <laughs> you miss the sower and the kingdom of God, you've taken the basis of the whole of the faith away. The devil is very good at that. Luke 8, 12. When anybody hears the message of the kingdom, the devil is right there to get rid of that message of the kingdom lest they should believe it and get saved. <laughs> That's a verse that should be preached about three times every Sunday in every pulpit. Luke wow. 8, 12. Marvelous summary. I love it. So, we do have an understanding. Mm -hmm. We do have a teacher. And what he's taught us is that we would love one another as he mm -hmm. has loved us. Mm -hmm. Not just any love, but the love with which he's loved us. Mm -hmm. We should love one another. And in that oh, state, yes. there is no law needed. That's right. Isn't that it? That's only through the Spirit. Yeah. We'll not do that yeah. on our own strength. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll not do that by nature. That's right. It, it does depend on the Spirit, which depends on the intelligent reception of the Gospel. So it all, all leads yes. go back That's right. to the Gospel, That's right. and there's the foundation. Yes. Verse 24. Yeah. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus... Yes. have crucified the flesh yes. with its passions and its desires. I like that. Wow. If you're of Christ, that, that's reminiscent of the verse where it says, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs of the kingdom according to the promise. Right. If you belong to Christ, same Greek exactly here, then you have crucified the flesh. It's dead. Wow. You're dead to the law mm. also. Mm. And Jesus died so that we could be freed from this mosaic system. I see. Wonderful. Verse 25, if we live by the Spirit, yes. uh, again, sort of reminiscent yes. of 3 and 2, in the chapter 3, verse 2, yes. and all that. that's right. But if we live by the Spirit, yes. let us also walk yes. by the Spirit, yes. perhaps in the Spirit, walk exactly. according yeah, to the Spirit. Yeah, we have to, absolutely. Yes. That's the Christian living part. We yes. have to make an effort here. It's not oh, automatic, absolutely. but it's going to be very counterproductive to try to do this via Moses, right. isn't it? It's not going to work. Don't, don't we have our, uh, mm. our hands pretty full oh, yes. walking according to oh, the yes. Spirit and yes. the things that God has yes. given to us through Jesus Christ yes. in the Spirit yes. uh, without worrying about getting back into all of uh, oh, Moses' terrible. thing, which is, work again. As, again, as you pointed out, uh, Peter is saying uh, we weren't able to bear that. No. It was too That's much. Right. That's right. But we've got plenty on our plate here, right. I think. Absolutely. Uh, according to the things yes. of, of Jesus and the yes. Spirit, without getting back into Very counterproductive, all isn't it? Oh, it is. It's working against yourself. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah. this is what we as human beings will tend to do. Yes. We'll work against ourselves yes. by trying to mix Moses and Jesus yes. here. Don't do We're it. We're complicating things fiercely. Oh. Yeah, Horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Horrible. Yeah. So, in 26. verse 26, yeah. let us not become boastful, oh, wow. challenging, challenging one another, right. envying one yeah. another. Well, let us just love one another mm. as Christ has mm -hmm. loved us. Mm -hmm. That's not anything Moses said. Don't he wasn't able to say now love one another like Christ loved you. No, because no. that was yeah. something foreign to Moses. He couldn't yeah. bring that. Well, the law of love is in is in the Old Testament. You know, loving your neighbor certainly. yourself is certainly there, but not certainly. in this spiritualized version that we get in the Son. Mm -hmm. only. Yeah, and it's it's Jesus's yeah. version of these things that God had yeah. in mind from the beginning. Absolutely, it predates the law. Yeah. Jesus, His law, His yes. program predates Moses. Yes by a long way back <laughs> in the mind of God from the beginning. Absolutely. It's clear, but one has to see this. Yes. One has to meditate perhaps in this book for a year, six yeah. months. Whatever it takes. Right. Whatever one learned wrong, yeah. one gets corrected. Right. Largely, I think, uh, on this issue, by this Certainly. book. It's a whole book. Isn't Absolutely. It? Absolutely. Screams wonderful. at us. Wonderful stuff. It screams it at us. Great. We're left with chapter six coming in a moment. Yeah, that's wonderful stuff.